as I rotated to one side, I heard the doctor say, we recommend that you stop her life support. We don't think that she's going to make it. And then I rotated to the other side and I couldn't hear anything else. And when I rotated back, they were gone. And I found myself in this big hospital room, rotating back and forth, not able to speak, not able to tell anyone, I'm alive, I'm here, don't give up on me. And so growing up, my mom, you know, taught us, you know, to pray and said, if you don't feel like anyone can hear you, God can hear you. God can hear all of your prayers. He can hear all of your hurt. And in that moment, I was so scared. I was a 16-year-old kid and just not ready to die in any way. So I just prayed. I just prayed that God would save my life. And, you know, sometimes we negotiate back and forth with God with these prayers. We say, I knew something was different was happening to me with my legs and my body, but I didn't know exactly at that time that I was paralyzed. So I just said, God, no matter what I have to face moving forward, just please save my life and I will just move forward. But no matter what I have to face, and I just remember rotating back and forth and just praying that prayer. And within days of that prayer, my lungs began to heal. 